Okay guys, so we're going to get this one uh, <clears throat> built up today. Uh, before we do, just run through tools you need. Uh, as usual with these ones from System of Gaming uh, Scenery, the stuff's held on to the, the framework pretty well, so you'll need a Stanley blade, or hobby knife of some description. Uh, make sure it's sharp, and whatever you do guys, remember knife safety, so be careful with it, don't go cutting yourself. Uh, white glue, and paintbrush to apply said white glue. Okay, so let's get this little bugger open. Uh, as usual, um, they come with a sheet insert. Uh, no instructions actually come with it, but you can find the instructions downloadable uh, from their website. Um, and you may find part of this video on their website as well, because they may be using our videos as assembly guides. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five sheets. Okay, they all look like they've got pretty big bits on them. So some of them are gonna be base parts. Looks like it's gonna be quite a big building. Lovely, lovely jubblies. Yeah. Looks like you've got sides and stuff. Looks like the windows as well. Um, each of the windows is actually held on by just little clips. So it looks like you could actually remove windows if you wanted. Uh, we're not going to remove the windows. I think I'm going to leave them in. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave them in. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to figure out which goes where and start removing them. Uh, now, on like I say, on their web store, They've got instructions, and the first sheet of instructions gives you a list of the components that um, start to put together the base plate. So we'll get them off. Uh, okay, so that's this. Okay, guys, I've uh, cut everything out that I think I need for the first part of the building, which is the lower building. Um, so what we've got is we've actually got a floor section there. Um, and this is the, you can tell this is the floor because that's where the building goes and then you've got this part here which is actually outside the building um, which you can see on there, you see so and then we've got two long uh, faces of the building so it's going to go like that and like that two ends that will slot in there and there. We've then got an internal wall, which will go uh, there. Uh, the roof, these components uh, actually go underneath the floor, they go in like that. And what that does is it actually lifts the building up off of the floor, which is quite nice. Uh, can you see that there? So. Quite nice. And then you get three doors, and I'll pop the doors out because you actually get little stands for the doors. Um, so the doors will actually stand up, which means that once the building's built, the doors will slot back into place, uh, and then you can actually move them if you want and stand them up. Genius, I like that bit. Um, one thing I'm a little bit disappointed about is the, uh, the internal wall's got a lack of detail etched onto it. It's a bit of a shame that, um, and the internal walls of the the internal, the internal side of the external walls have also got no detail on, but you know, I don't know. I suppose you'd have to turn it over in the laser. I don't know how easy that is. I assume it's all in a jig, but it'll probably increase the price because obviously it's got to go onto the laser for longer. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is assemble this.
just slot this into place. Of course, it helps if you. Okay, first disaster, guys. First disaster. The wrong wall's been put on. So. Should be that one on that side. So, well worth checking. Because if you've got a, got a wall with a door on it, uh, make sure you get it lined up right. <laughs> Otherwise, because it'll only go on one side of the building. So we'll glue that back on there like that. It's a good job you're watching the video, isn't it? So you can see me make the mistakes so you don't have to. Two long glue points there. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six smaller glue points. These long ones are for the long side wall, and then the six smaller ones are for the pins that are on the end of the short walls. Think it's going to be. Um, that's not actually the right wall. That's the right wall. So make sure you get the right wall. It's well worth probably looking at all the walls in the set to make sure that you marry them up right. And that should just slot on like that. Yep. Look at that. So already that's looking pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, we've got doorways, three doorways, three doorway stands. So we just dab a glue there. Slot it in. Once made, can actually just be placed back in the model like that. And then during gameplay, if you need to remove them, they just slot out. That's pretty cool. You could even, because they stand up, you could even sort of open them and leave them like that, and it could give a bit of cover. I quite like that idea. Okay, let's move on to the next building. Okay guys, so we're going to do the uh, next level, um, although it could be a separate building. So we've got a floor, two long walls, one of which was one of the ones I tried using on there. Uh, two end piece walls and a side, uh, an internal door. Um, now one thing I thought of, which I didn't think of earlier, was that I should have substituted possibly that wall there for that wall there. No, that wall for that wall, because um, that would have given me a doorway. And that doorway on this second building would have meant that I could have actually had it as a, um, or one of these end pieces actually. I might swap one of the end pieces around actually. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll tell you why in a minute. No, let's not. Let's, let's just leave it as it is. This is how I've built it. But if I'd actually put an, in, uh, an external wall on one of these, then I think 
that by using the stair system you could have had an external stairway up to the, uh, the room above which would have been quite uh, quite awesome but hey ho live and learn hey so that's something you could do in yours if you wanted um, so let's get this built And then the fifth wall <laughs> should just slot in. You can glue it if you want. But it's quite a nice, strongly held by friction, really. And that's our second building. Now, if I understand this right, look at that. Come on, please. So that's set on there like that and be a two-storey building. If I'd kept one of the... Let's have a look. Would that match up? Yeah, it would and all. Look at that. You see that? So if I'd kept one of the... Uh... Just in actual fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am. I am going to do it. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, yes. Come on, people. There we go. There you go. So it just goes to show, guys, it's well worth planning what you want to do before you actually start assembling it. <laughs> just dab more glue on these. Because if you plan it out, this is one of the, the bad points of not cutting everything out and laying it all out and uh, having a minute or two, just sit there with a cup of tea and figure out what you want. And then you have to do this. Fortunately, decided to do this before the glue had set. Look at that. So what we now have is a ground floor building with two entrances, one on there, one on there. Nothing on that end, a couple of windows there. And then we have a second floor building, it goes on like that. That end has got a little doorway, which one of those will slide into, like that. And I'm making use of one of the stairways from one of the walkway systems, and I'll go straight in there. Okay guys, so we're now going to do the uh, two roof parts. Um, these are essentially, I mean they, they look different to the, the, the internal floor parts. Um, so they're obviously whacked as roofs, but they come with these as well. Which means that you could probably use them as flooring components. Yeah. So, we, uh, just the usual. Now, 
on one of these. Uh, this one. One, two, three, four. And there's these four components here. Or eight components even. And I was wondering what they were. Thinking there were spares and I think my mind's just clicked. So let's just take a couple off. see if my mind is right on this. I think these little components, you can see there, I think these go in these little holes at the ends. And the reason I think they go in there is I think they act as stoppers to stop it sliding along the building. So we'll just push fit them for now. Like that. And like that. So they're un underneath but when that, if that was placed on there like that for the roof, yeah, it stops it sliding. There we go. So that's what it's like with, uh, with them. Without them. So, yes, that. My mind works. My mind does work. Okay, so the uh, last components to build are these. Now, you get uh, one step, well actually you get three steps from the looks of it on the sprue, but uh, the way I built it, there's only one um, door and two doors that are possibly needed. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm building one now, and I might build the other one later if we end up needing it, um, but as a two-storey building you won't need it, you'll only need the one, um, and a ramp, uses these, so uh, the step is basically that component, and these two components that kind of remind me of Space Invaders, wish I could remember what the Space Invaders music was, might see if I can find it and overlay it at that point, and then we've got the ramp piece which looks like that and comes with ooh, two of those and they have it what we also get in the pack is a pile of railings. Um, I've got off a load, that's not actually all of them, there's still more on the, uh, on the sprues. Um, the railings go around those like that. Uh, now they recommend not gluing them on. Uh, you can glue them on if you want to actually leave them in place and you never want to change the setup but they recommend that if you want to change things around then not to glue them on um, because of things like you know that could actually be set up as a landing so you've got railings there as well with that building alongside so that's like a patio or something um, and then the ramp could sit there like that next time you want to try it you may want to change it around and you may want to actually have this is the roof, so that would fit on like that. And you could have the ramp to the window there, uh, to the door, um, and then another railing on there. So as you can see, if you want to actually swap your designs around, it's best not to glue the railings on. Now they do feel a bit loose, but the system of guys say that um, once you paint it, they fit a lot better, so there you have it. <laughs> 